China is forcing some of its biggest companies to operate a closed loop system. In fact, it's become the new normal for a lot of factories here. So, how does it work? The point is to keep workers inside the factory complex, away from the outside world. This means they eat, sleep, and even exercise at their workplace for days or weeks, sometimes months, without outside contact. So this uh, system first started to be used by manufacturers in Shenzhen, those that had uh, worker dormitories um, within the compounds or nearby. So these uh, companies could like actually shuttle their workers back and forth without actually leaving the campus. It's not just factories. Offices have had to make arrangements for staff to live and work inside. So uh, China has been uh, using this method to contain its COVID outbreaks for a while now, including the uh, Beijing Olympics in February. That's me at the Olympics. For weeks, I was totally fenced in at my hotel, and they put me on a bus every time I needed to go to a competition. I could only see the rest of the world through the windows. So why are companies doing this? It's basically to keep production going while conforming to Xi Jinping's COVID zero strategy. It keeps China's giant manufacturing sector and the economy humming along, even as persistent cases threaten lockdowns for the rest of the population. And to be honest, it's working for some companies. For example, Tesla, it saw a shipment surge in June after it started operating its closed loop. This comes after its output was severely dented during the initial stages of the Shanghai lockdown. But these uh, closed loops aren't devoid of problems. Some workers have staged walkouts or even protests. Like in this video shared on social media, where workers appear to clash with guards and revolted against lockdown measures. More generally, workers are just sick and tired of being locked into some factory or dorm for weeks or months on end and being isolated from their families.